Have you ever wondered how the world transitioned from swords and bows to guns and cannons? The Dawn of Firearms is a tale of innovation, discovery, and a profound shift in the way warfare was conducted. Our journey begins in the 9th century, in the heart of China, where the first known formula for gunpowder was recorded. It was a simple mixture of sulfur, charcoal, and potassium nitrate. However, this potent concoction was not initially used for warfare. Instead, it was part of a quest for immortality, a potion meant to prolong life, but ironically it became a harbinger of death on the battlefield. As the centuries passed, the Chinese realized that this fire drug, as they called it, had explosive properties. They began to harness its power for military use, creating the first rudimentary firearms. One of the earliest was the fire lance, a bamboo or metal tube that shot out a jet of flame and shrapnel. It was a terrifying weapon, but it had its limitations. Its range was short, it took time to reload, and it was dangerous to its wielder. Then, in the 13th century came a significant leap forward, the hand cannon. This was a simple tube, sealed at one end, loaded with gunpowder and a projectile. The hand cannon was lit from a small touch hole, and boom, the projectile was fired out at high speed. It was a crude weapon by today's standards, but it marked a seismic shift in warfare. For the first time, a single soldier could unleash a deadly force at a distance. These early firearms were game changers. They transformed the battlefield, shifting the balance of power. They rendered castle walls and armored knights obsolete, democratized warfare, and laid the foundation for the modern military. Thus, the stage was set for the evolution of firearms, from crude hand cannons to the sophisticated weapons we see today. The dawn of firearms was just the beginning, and the journey from there is a riveting tale of human ingenuity and the relentless pursuit of power. Imagine a time when loading a firearm took minutes, not seconds. Welcome to the age of muskets. The 16th century saw a significant shift in the world of firearms with the emergence of the musket. This long-barreled firearm, often as tall as a man, became a game-changer on the battlefield. Despite its cumbersome size and lengthy reloading process, the musket's power and range made it a formidable weapon in warfare. But the musket's early days weren't all glory and triumph, it had its fair share of limitations. Picture this, a soldier in the heat of battle, trying to pour gunpowder into a musket's barrel, ram down a lead ball, and ignite the charge, all while under enemy fire. It was a dangerous and time-consuming process, often taking several minutes, and in the chaos of war, every second mattered. This is where the genius of innovation stepped in, leading to the development of key mechanisms that significantly improved the efficiency and reliability of muskets. The first of these was the matchlock mechanism. Introduced in the 1400s, the matchlock held a slow-burning wick that, when triggered, dropped into a pan of gunpowder to ignite the main charge. This revolutionized musket firing, making it quicker and safer. However, the matchlock had its drawbacks. The wick could easily blow out in wind or rain, rendering the musket useless. This led to the invention of the wheel lock mechanism in the 16th century. The wheel lock used a spinning wheel to create sparks which ignited the gunpowder. This was a more reliable method but it was complex and expensive to produce. This is where the flintlock mechanism comes into play. Developed in the 17th century, the flintlock used a piece of flint to create sparks. This mechanism was simpler, cheaper, and more reliable than its predecessors. It quickly became the standard for muskets and remained so for nearly two centuries. As technology advanced, so did firearms, leading us into the era of the revolver. What if a firearm could fire multiple rounds without reloading? Enter the age of the revolver. As the 19th century unfolded, a young inventor named Samuel Colt introduced a remarkable innovation that would forever change the landscape of firearm technology. This was the era of the revolver, a firearm that could fire multiple rounds without the need for immediate reloading. Samuel Colt's invention was groundbreaking. Colt, a keen observer and tinkerer, was inspired by the mechanisms of a ship's wheel. He envisioned a firearm that incorporated a rotating cylinder, much like the ship's wheel, which could hold multiple rounds of ammunition. His ingenious idea was to design a firearm that could fire repeatedly without the need for reloading after each shot. In 1836, Colt patented his design and the first practical revolving firearm was born. The Colt Patterson, as it was known, was a five-shot revolver, a radical departure from the single-shot firearms of the day. This firearm was revolutionary, offering a significant advantage in terms of firing speed and capacity. The advent of the revolver transformed personal defense and warfare alike. 
The revolver's multi-shot capability meant that soldiers and law enforcement officers could fire multiple rounds in quick succession, greatly improving their effectiveness in combat situations. The revolver quickly became a symbol of power and authority, as well as a tool of personal defense for ordinary citizens. But the era of the revolver was not just about the firearm itself, it was also about the industrial processes that made its mass production possible. Colt's use of interchangeable parts and assembly line production marked a significant shift in manufacturing, setting the stage for the Industrial Revolution. With its multi-shot capability, the revolver was a game-changer in the world of firearms. It was a tool of power, a symbol of authority, and a testament to human ingenuity. The revolver marked a significant leap in firearm technology, but the next evolution was just around the corner. Imagine a world where firearms could fire as fast as you could pull the trigger. That's the world of semi-automatic and automatic firearms. The late 19th and early 20th centuries were a period of remarkable innovation in the world of firearms. This era saw the birth of semi-automatic and automatic weapons which forever altered the landscape of warfare. One of the most notable inventions of this time was the Maxim gun, introduced in the late 19th century by Sir Hiram Stevens Maxim. It was the first fully automatic machine gun, a weapon that could fire continuously as long as the trigger was held down. This was a massive leap from the single-shot firearms of the past. The Maxim gun was a game-changer, capable of firing around 600 rounds per minute. In the early 20th century, another major development came from the genius mind of John Browning. He introduced the Browning automatic rifle, often simply known as the BAR. This firearm was a versatile piece of machinery, able to be used as both a semi-automatic and a fully automatic weapon. The bar was widely used in both world wars and became a symbol of American firepower. As we moved into the mid-20th century, another iconic automatic firearm came into existence, the AK-47. Designed by Mikhail Kalashnikov, this weapon was simple, reliable, and extremely effective. The AK-47 is perhaps the most recognized firearm in the world, and it continues to be used in conflicts across the globe. These inventions, from the Maxim gun to the AK-47, have dramatically changed the face of warfare. They have increased the speed and intensity of battles allowing for rapid-fire engagements that were previously inconceivable. With the advent of automatic firearms the pace of warfare changed forever. But what does the future hold? What does the future hold for firearms? Will they become more deadly or more precise? As we stand at the forefront of technological advancements, it's a question that looms large. A current trend that's making waves in the firearm industry is the development of smart guns. These weapons are integrated with technology designed to prevent unauthorized use. For instance, some models are designed to function only when they detect a specific fingerprint or when they're within a certain range of a paired device like a wristband or a ring. This could potentially reduce accidental discharges and instances of firearm theft. Then we have railguns, a type of weapon that uses electromagnetic force to launch high-velocity projectiles. Instead of gunpowder, these weapons use a linear motor to accelerate a projectile along a set of rails. While currently in experimental stages, railguns have the potential to revolutionize warfare due to their incredible range and power. And let's not forget laser weapons. Once the stuff of science fiction, laser technology is rapidly advancing. These weapons, also known as directed energy weapons, emit highly focused energy, damaging or destroying their targets. The advantages are clear, they're incredibly precise, have an almost limitless ammunition capacity, and can reach their targets at the speed of light. But with all these advancements, we must also consider the ethical and societal implications. As firearms become more powerful and precise, the potential for destruction grows. How will we ensure these weapons are used responsibly? How will we regulate access to them? These are questions that we, as a society, will have to grapple with. As we look to the future, it's clear that the evolution of firearms is far from over. But one thing is certain, the impact of these weapons on our world is undeniable. The next chapter in the story of firearms is being written even as we speak, and it's up to us to decide how that story unfolds.